and welcome to another Addicted Fishing video. Today we're out here on the mouth of the Columbia River at Buoy 10 and the goal in this video is to eat the most fresh meal humanly possible. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put the bow rods, the middle rods, the back rods in. We've got our boy Nick Popov here as our guide oh no, today. Guys. And we're gonna try to catch and not even cook. We're just gonna try to catch a salmon, catch bust out the table, and make some top tier sushi for you. Right here, Maybe. fresh out of the ocean. So stay yeah. tuned, we're gonna have a lot of fun today. Be sure to go down here, hit subscribe, smash that thumbs up, and stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Coming at you. down again in Astoria, Oregon, the mouth of the Columbia River. What they call this basically is the super salmon fishing. All basically the whole month of August, the season opens up and a massive flush of salmon come in that go clear almost all the way into Idaho, all the way into to Washington, all the way into Oregon. Uh, but this is where they start. This is where they hit the fresh water coming in from the salt. And really it's kind of the mecca of, of salmon trolling like you see us doing out here. I just got hit. I just got smacked. Oh, did you? I didn't see it. I just heard. Oh, 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 he's up. Damn it. Dude, there is a big old pile of them right here on the bottom. Go back to the bottom. Oh, here we go, fish. Oh, my God. No. Jordan, make sure you're right on the bottom. Go out one more pole. Go, got it! Go, go, go! Got him, got him! Got him, got him! In the hand, dude! Hey, tight, you little bastard. Did you, no, he's coming back, he's coming back. Nice fish, dude. Come so in, ready. Alright, dude! You are me! Dude, you that was epic. I literally said, oh. Jordan, stop it at 25. He's on you. He goes, or Sean goes, oh, he's on you? I go, well, look at the screen. You he talked him onto it. I dropped it. Once he said he went back down, I went click, 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 let him go like four what or five times. What a beautiful times. fish, too. Nice. Dropped it like five feet and it just started taking it. I started panicking. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't want to jerk. I'm a river fisherman. <laughs> I'm a river fisherman. Look at that chunky monkey, dude. Yes. Oh, Ooh. that is epic. I'll let you guys know. Wow. Man, I love that smell. There we go. There it is, everybody. Didn't take long at all, thanks to the man in the back. Talk that one right on the line. Yeah, baby. Ooh, I'm hungry already. Get out of there, little. Get out of there. All right, so since this is a catch and eat, we're gonna go over some of the importance of how to process these salmon. Really, the most, the most important thing, and you know, try to get your picture right away, try to do things fast, but getting these things bled, getting these this blood out of that fish by cutting their gills, because this fish here, we're gonna be eating fresh. We're gonna be cutting this thing open. We're gonna make sushi while we're out here on the water. So we wanna make sure to get that blood out of that meat because we're not gonna like that taste. And honestly, it's not very good for you as well. So get this thing good and bled. We'll get him cut up. We'll get the table out. We'll start having some sushi. So all I'm gonna do here though, just get the guts out. That is beautiful. God, I'm so happy we're gonna eat this raw, everybody. Okay, so step one was bleeding it. Step two, we got that those guts out of there. If there's any worms or again parasites inside that fish, we'll get them out of there, get them out of their belly. And you can already see how freaking beautiful that meat's gonna be in here. So what we'll do now, we'll head in and get in a little bit of calmer water. We're gonna flay this thing out. We're gonna use some of the back strap here on this fish, get it all cut up, get our sushi stuff prepared, and then it's chow time. So I'm doing a pretty just classic, like, of course, got the white claw with us too. I'm doing basically just a classic Philadelphia roll here, you guys. I'm just gonna do a little bit of carrot, a little bit of cucumber, and of course, we don't wanna forget my favorite part, other than the fish, a nice avocado, a little bit of cream cheese. Now let's get to the fish. 
So what I'm gonna do here, everybody, is I'm just gonna use the top portion of the shoulder here. My favorite part of this fish to use for the sushi, it's got a lot of the flavor and the fat in it, is this top little shoulder piece here. The, what our buddy Ace, at a, on Ace videos there on YouTube, likes to call the back strap token. He's gonna token that one. So we're gonna use a little bit of this back strap piece. So all I'm gonna do, this is one of the new Gerber knives that they have. This isn't exactly one of the filet models, but I like using it for filleting, and it works really good in the kitchen and for an adaption like this, like we're doing here for sushi. So. I'm gonna run my knife all the way up through here. Put that right behind that shoulder piece there. Bring her down. And all I'm gonna do here is, again, I'm not gonna finish this whole filet as I normally would. I'm just gonna run this thing right along that spine a little ways, just like that. Get it to right about, there looks good. I'm gonna take my blade, run it straight down to the backbone and use just that little piece here. I say little piece, but this is a giant fish, so. There it is. So you can kind of see right off the bat why I'm going for this piece. A lot of people might use a tail piece or, or other sections of this fish, but my favorite part of it, you see how that meat's all marbled. It's got that really nice tight grain to it. These are the pieces that I'm gonna start cutting off. You can almost see the shape of them too. It has that little section of meat there. Those both fit really well in that sushi roll. So that's usually why I go with that shoulder piece. And again, this is the furthest piece away from the belly. If there's any parasites or there's any any sort of worms or anything in this fish, which happens with any fish from the ocean, I'm gonna be avoiding those by as far as I can by going with that shoulder piece there. So clean that off a little bit more. Got a little piece of skin out of there. Brush this off. Whew, and we're ready. Look at how tasty that looks, everybody. Yummy. Okay, let's take this over to our cutting board. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take my cucumber I'm gonna just slice some really nice small strips of this. And I like to try to make each of my ingredients here just about as long as my sushi roll is gonna be. So if they hang out at each end, it's not gonna hurt anything. Okay, I'm gonna probably roll three or four here, so. Three or four of them. Got a nice, nice couple pieces of cuke there. Slide that over to the side. Now we're gonna get the old carrot ready here. I'm gonna take each end of this off, making it just about as long as my cucumbers here. Go all the way down and get it right in half. Again, trying to get as level a cut as I can here without slicing my fingers off. And one thing I wanna comment on with these Gerber blades, especially this knife in particular, it's definitely more designed for the kitchen. But as you saw, it works really, really well. Man, this is just full impact fishing. Oh. This is very suspenseful cooking, you guys. Who needs a timer when you got fish getting caught? Again, a couple more little strips here. Now for my favorite part, the old avocado. Beautiful. Just gonna again, slice some nice, real thin strips here. This is absolute madness, everybody. I hope you're enjoying this with us as much as I am. It's very hard to focus, especially when you're playing with a sharp knife. This is not an OSHA approved kitchen, just for the record, everybody. Okay, avocado's ready. Now, the moment of truth. The real delicacy part of this whole deal. The fish. So, what I'm gonna do, same sort of deal. I'm gonna lay it down here and I'm gonna try to just get perfect, nice, even little slight slices of meat here. Again, I don't wanna make them too thick. I don't want them too small also. I wanna be able to taste that. Oh my God, I'm drooling, you guys. What does everybody at home think of this so far? Anybody, what, drop a comment below whether or not you like sushi, of course, but also drop another comment whether you make your own at home. See what this looks like up here, bro. Dude, look at how nice that is. Look at Dude, that color that, of that does meat. Look pretty dang you really you can't go and get that in the store. Did you know we just missed a fish while you were in? I, I was listening, but God, I'm trying not to cut myself. This is the real <laughs> the real issue right now. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Now the real moment of truth here. What you want to make sure of, one, with the nori is it doesn't do well if it gets wet. So I'm gonna make sure my cutting board is nice and dry. Make sure there's no goopy stuff or fish scales on there. All right, and last but not least, our cream cheese. Open that bad boy up. I'm gonna do the same kind of thing. Same kind of thing here. 
I'm just gonna cut these little chunks out. And if it works properly, if it's the right temperature, you keep that cold, you'll be able to have a nice little strip of cheese. Get our rice ready. We got wind, we got waves, we got fish getting hooked. Really, there's just all kinds of stuff going on out here. Okay, now, this is very, very important part. What you wanna make sure to do, one, when you make your rice, the most important part of making that rice is to wash it multiple, multiple times. You can go and you can buy yourself sushi rice, but just a regular old jasmine rice or anything like that will work just fine. But the key is, is you want it sticky. You don't want it to get dry. And what makes that rice dry is not washing and washing all that dirt and all that, that pasty kind of white film that's on that rice off of it before you start trying to cook with it. So, we did a good job making this stuff. It's very sticky. Obviously, you can see it's all over my fingers. Just like that. Get just a little bit more here. Try to cover all four corners evenly. All right, everyone, here it goes. So, I'm gonna start with my first ingredient as the fish. I'm gonna lay that strip in there, just like that. I got two strips evenly placed. I'm gonna grab a nice strip of cucumber here. I'm gonna lay that in there just like so. Grab my carrot, lay that right across. And then, I'm gonna go pretty heavy on the avocado here, because it's one of my favorite parts of this roll. Just like this, just like that. Throw that cream cheese in there, just like that. And that is the beauty of this kind of cooking, you guys, or lack thereof, is just how simple it is. You really get a chance to enjoy the flavor, you get a chance to enjoy the taste of that fish, and you get to eat it so extremely fresh, it's hard to believe. This thing never even hit the fridge or the freezer, and that's what I love about it. Okay, so, I'm just gonna slowly roll this, because the last thing we wanna do is bust that nori or that seaweed and ruin the whole operation here. So, nice and slow, keeping it nice and tight with your fingertips. Nice steady roll. Oh, it's breaking, but that's all right. It all goes down the same. And there you have it. A perfect sushi roll. Last but not least, let me bust out my little ramekin here. Of course, I came prepared. And I don't know about you out there, world, but my favorite thing about eating sushi is getting a little nose burn with some wasabi mixed in. So, I'm gonna do a little squirt of this wasabi. This stuff is super handy. Comes in this little squeeze tube. Get a little shot of that in there. A little bit of the soy sauce. I'm gonna instead of using my finger, this time I'm gonna use a cucumber. Get that nice and mixed up. Now, the slicing and dicing. There it is, everyone. Perfect sushi on the water. Oh my God. Are you guys ready for this or what? You're venturing on Woo! Yeah. Daddy ain't eating none of that. Tip jars out, guys. Tip jars out. You gonna try it? Perfect little mix there. Probably went a little heavy on the rice, but delicious I mean, as it comes. I don't want to even run the chance of getting sick right Oh my God. Oh yeah. I mean, you won't. I wish you guys could taste this right now. That is some of the best sushi. I've ever had. Hop on in. Get in there, boys. Mm. Isn't that good? Oh, man, it doesn't get no better than that. Oh, you even did cream cheese. Oh, I did the cream. It's a full Philly roll, man. Oh, you're a savage. I dude. know. We do it right out here for my friends and for the viewers. All right, everybody, we really thank you so much for joining us today out here on the water. and hope you enjoyed this little catch and just straight up eat this yeah. time. It wasn't even any Not cook even involved. Cooking. If you haven't already done so, be sure to go down, smash that thumbs up, and drop a comment below. If you guys like this video and wanna see more, go over here and click on this link to get a few more videos. Go down here, hit subscribe, and be sure to comment below, interact with this video, and we'll be picking the comment of the day. So be sure to comment below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Nick, for helping yes, us out. Absolutely. You guys stay fishy, and we'll see you out there. Good job. <laughs> <laughs>